There are new solutions in the works to address the homeless crisis in Spokane. And by this time next week, many Camp Hope residents will be living in a warm space and sleeping with a roof over their heads. Catalyst, a Catholic Charities housing project, has been in the works for some time now. It's in the West Hills area. That's off Sunset Boulevard. You can see it here on your map. As Emily Bloom explains, that project is close to wrapping up. Catholic Charities Catalyst Project was planning to open their doors and be move-in ready yesterday. Now they tell us this is happening next week. Some minor delays with plumbing and a fire system will wrap up this final week. Those things happen on construction sites this big. There's been an absolute monumental amount of work finishing up um, and needed to get this to a safe place. Next Thursday, Camp Hope residents will begin moving into the 100 room space. Open to couples, they'll ultimately house 120 people total. We have started receiving referrals from the uh, navigators down at Camp Hope. Okay. So we do have some of those names. We're starting to do outreach to those folks and schedule intakes. Don Kinder says there will be a lot of expectations for good behavior so they can be good neighbors and set up these residents for success in the future. For an emergency supportive housing model, we will have on-site services um, that will include case management, behavioral health, employment and education, access to medical care and med management. Meanwhile, an additional four million is heading towards six different projects in the Spokane area. Department of Commerce today announced that they're releasing uh, additional funds for the right of way initiative specifically to support uh, expansion of housing options in Spokane. And while the funds will be available soon, there is still work ahead. It means we as a community are really going to have to work together to figure out how we can use those resources to build out that capacity. And the overall goal of giving homeless people a place to turn things around in life will start taking shape next week. We've made a lot of security enhancements to the facility and given the, the temperatures and heading into winter, we're just thrilled to be able to bring people indoors next week um, and provide that, that resource to the community. So. We're, we're excited. Governor Inslee is expected to be here on Monday to take a tour of the new facility. Reporting in Spokane, Emily Bloom, 4 News Now.